echo Larry's comments of appreciation to both Gail and Sam and the entire Citizens Committee spearheading this valuable uh, SPLOS campaign. We have heard about the value of the community-wide projects funded by past SPLOS referendums and how we as citizens have benefited from those projects. I'd like to ask you to look into the future and consider the value of proposed SPLOS projects to be funded by a positive SPLOS vote in November. As children, we were told, and those of us that are parents have encouraged our children to do your best, work hard, apply your talents and abilities, to be the best person you can be. Make your family, your community, your city, county, state, nation, and so on, proud of we're wired in our DNA to desire to excel and to recognize excellence in others, especially if the others are our family, friends, and somehow one of us. We cheer for our high schools, colleges, universities, national athletes, and take pride in their success. As a community, Lowndes County and Valdosta has a great deal of which to be proud. We've been very fortunate that our leaders and citizens have chosen to use their talents, gifts, lessons, wealth, opportunities, etc., to make this the best group of cities and counties we can possibly be. They have set an example of sacrifice and commitment for the improvement of all. They have passed the torch to us. We now face the challenge and the choice of what we will do. What heritage will we leave for those that follow us, our next generation? What will be our answer? Yes, our current economic environment is one of the most challenging some of us have faced and hopefully will ever face. Is now the time that we agree to settle for less, to be satisfied with maintaining the status quo? The project selected to the SPLOS 7 list are based on meeting our basic needs, providing needed public safety equipment such as law enforcement and fire vehicles, improved communication for public safety, improved, improved infrastructure of roads, water, sewer, and all the infrastructure needs, in addition to the infrastructure needs that I mentioned, members of the public have encouraged our leaders to seek improvements for our youth in the form of recreational facilities and the entire community with a library and municipal auditorium. Rather than view these projects as frivolous, I urge you to view these projects as our future. During the development of the SPLOT SPROC 7 list, local governments consider capital project needs that could be met without increasing property tax. As reflected by the list, it is evident that local governments across our community are facing the challenge of providing these basic services. For instance, $32.7 million of the 150 projected collections have been allocated by the municipalities and county for improvements to infrastructure to include roads, streets, and bridges. These improvements provide safety and convenience to residents as well as a well-maintained entrance to our community. 32.1 million of the 150 collections, projected collections, have been allocated by our government for water and sewer improvements. 17.1 million has been allocated by Lowndes County, Valdosta, Tejara, Lake Park, and Remington for public safety improvements to include law enforcement vehicles and equipment, fire rescue vehicles and equipment, to include funds for public safety radio systems that allow all the safety agents, public safety agencies in our community, community to communicate during a response to an emergency or a call for assistance. $44 million of the 150 has been allocated by the county and municipalities for improvements to and for the addition of parks and recreation facilities as well as municipal auditorium and library facilities. 
studies have shown that over 50% of these flocculations come from visitors to our community. It is facilities such as those that I've mentioned that draw people here, and while they are here, you will hear them comment on how they wish their community had similar facilities. Just one more example of why our community continues to rise above the rest. I'm sure many of you have already taken time to evaluate this Plaza 7 project. The point I want to leave you with is this. Local governments across our community came to the table with a common theme, a common theme that addresses the needs of basic improvements to water, sewer, public safety. These are not wishes. These are necessities, must-haves. Our citizens expect and deserve to travel safely on local roads. Our citizens expect and deserve safe drinking water and the safe disposal of waste. And our citizens expect and deserve to have a law enforcement officer, firefighter, or paramedic respond to their need for assistance. Ninety percent of the $150 million in splash funds expected to be collected is allocated toward the provision of basic local services. The remaining 10% is for projects to be funded that set our community above the rest. It's this mission to not only meet but exceed expectations that has brought our community this far and is what will allow us to maintain our position as a regional economic hub